afternoon all. How does social media make you feel? Do you feel comfortable using social media? Does it make you feel good about yourself? On average, about 73% of teens ranging in ages 12 to 17 use social media every day. Among those 73%, there are teenage girls who believe they would rather not eat for a whole day than get their phone taken away. On October 27th, Australian model and Instagram star Essena O'Neill deleted over 2,000 photos which she believed served no real purpose other than self-promotion and dramatically edited the captions to the remaining 96 posts in a bid to reveal the manipulation and even insecurity behind them. O'Neill claims she wanted to show teenage girls in society that everyday lives should not consist of perfect pictures or hundreds of likes on an Instagram post. She believes her previous Instagram post made her feel insecure, made girls feel insecure about themselves and as a result lowered their self-esteem. Because social media alters the self-esteem of teenage girls, we need solutions that can ultimately get rid of this issue. It is not that social media should be banned completely, but that people who do use social media should be willing to embrace their imperfections and move themselves away from comparing their lives with those of the lives who are better. Teenage girls, or rather anyone who uses social media, should not feel pressured to post images of their bodies. After all, who really determines what the perfect post consists of? Social media decreases the self-esteem of girls because it perpetuates the idea that girls must embody one type of beauty while also pushing them to believe that the image of themselves are imperfect. When one embraces their imperfection, it means that they are accepting the flaws that they have in their lives. For starters, everyone should realize that they are not perfect. As of now, teenage girls are in a stage where they are learning more about themselves every day. Embracing imperfections allows teenage girls to accept their mistakes and go on to change for the better. Changing these mistakes, however, does not mean changing as a person. No one should feel pressured to change who they are for someone else. Because of this, they should not hold themselves accountable for the reality of their body image or simply the imperfect pictures they post. Social media creates a difficult time for teens to establish their own unique identities because of the constant pressure of social norms of beauty. If you compare your life to another person's life, it will ultimately force you to just highlight the negativity in your own life. This is what social media does to teenage girls. It forces girls to compare their lives to those of supermodels. How many of us have ever looked at a supermodel Snapchat or Instagram and said, man, I sure wish I could have a body just like her, or even said, those are my goals. But have you actually taken a second and realized that maybe their life isn't as perfect as they make it seem? Or maybe what your goals, or maybe that your goals just end up changing the way in which you think of yourself. Focusing on negativity impacts the self-esteem of teenage girls because it pushes them to believe that their own bodies and lifestyle is not to the standards with the social norms, sorry, with the norms social media paints for us. Some may argue that social media does not lower the self-esteem of teenage girls, but it, but in fact, it allows happiness to become viral because it causes contagious happiness. Reporters have noted that social media spreads happiness because when one Facebook friend or Twitter follower posts a positive status or picture, the person reading this post will be affected by it because of the positivity it spreads. Social media does allow users to spread positivity through their posts, but let's face it, one small post about a supermodel, a supermodel or artist's life can change everything. Self-esteem of teenage girls are continuously lowering due to the body images that social media portrays. Don't get me wrong, interesting images of all stars are released on social media. And not everything that is posted creates negativity in our society. The image of the perfect body or even the perfect day forces us to believe that what we are doing with our lives is clearly not what society believes we should be doing. Now my fellow classmates, if what I have said doesn't impact the way in which you choose to use social media, then carry on with your positive tweets and uploads. But if these words did affect you and make you think 
about your own interactions with social media, then I deeply encourage you to take my suggestions into consideration. What choice will you be making? Thank you.